come back. Great. Yeah. Right. And um, what I'm going to do in West Arcade, I can't remember like the exact sequence of events as they shake out up here. But I'm going to play it up until we get the lights out for the battle against DJ Music Man. And that's where we'll stop uh, because I really want to mess around in dark mode on... Basically there's another version of Security Breach that I have right now. Um, Maz on Twitter um, made a little mod that makes the light flashlight less intense and I'm interested in playing some dark mode areas with that in mind so that that's the plan please piss off I must stay here <laughs> I wish I could join you but after tonight's stage incident I I'm not allowed to perform. To be you, Chica. When I step onto the West Arcade dance floor, I cannot stop myself. It is a programming bug. Head to the security office. You'll find the staff bot repair machine there. If you see the DJ, say hello. He is such a nice fellow. I'm lactose intolerant and pizza is not great and I almost never ate it but now FNAF has me eating it like way way more than I ever did. I always forget the floor is green here. It just seems weird. Oh no! Oh no look at this. This would drive me crazy. This is why the robots turned murderous because there's a seam along the two halves of these tiles. I was so disappointed the first time I played this game and the medals didn't work. I was like, oh no, like surely they shouldn't have put as many medals in the game if they don't work. I just didn't realise that they had not the ray tracing fixed at that point. I 
like how all the old art of them is in here. What's that little thing next to his mouth? used to be really easy because Monty didn't spawn properly but now he does I think we'll get somewhere safe and then we'll have a look at the different machines and stuff because there is so much to see here interesting, I've never really noticed that before. Right, so where will we start? Let's just start in a corner, I guess. Three levels up here. These ones are what I call the lore cabinets. Hangry Fred Bell, Mangle's Quest, House of the Bell 2, Bears Bell Noir, Salmon Bonnie Bites, Bonnie Bites. Yeah, that's chocolate bunny. But let's have a, a decent look at them. Hold on. Yeah. So we can see them best, because it is quite dark. These guys, Pimbeal Circus, Clash of Clowns. Obviously a joke about Clash of Clans, but still a very valid set of machines. Air Adventure, which we saw already in East Arcade. So there are some overlaps here, but there are some new ones. Like this one doesn't appear in very many places. Mad Signs with Dr. Scrap Trap. One eye, one lip from like Soul Power. Theo's back. Yeah, Theo's brain drain or whatever. Which, yeah, that's the characters from Silver Eyes. They're Charlie's pets, Theodore and Stanley, I think. There's a character called Stanley in the novels as well, that might be Mike, but that's why I get some names confused. Hungry Fredbear, yeah. Angle's Quest, and it's fighting a Chimera, what we had, Chimera. the bell too which I mentioned that's a reference to the joy of creation which I've never played but yeah it's a fan verse thing yeah. bonnie bites I'm like oh god the chocolate bonnie um these ones were all made by the team at Steel Wool as far as I'm aware Zany Sword Record Raccoon Raconto Gear Racer Cosmic Countdown these rail screens uh, the ones with the pictures appear on various different machines. They tend to be restricted to certain ones, like Cosmic Countdown has the eyes sometimes, but there are other machines that have the same ones. These all establish GGY as the top scorer, so this is where we tie it to the GGY novel that I talked about in one of my other videos. And he frequently just outstrips everyone else on the scoreboard, if you notice, like by a long way. Especially in this one, where it's like yeah. Theo's Brain Buster. There we go. That's what it is. It's not Brain Drain. That has the Ella doll on it, which is also like, hmm, because the Ella doll is what contains Charlie Bot's soul. Um, Mega Jewel. Night Masters. Vision Falling. Milk Spoiled. 
so hot. <laughs> um, Cyber Fox versus Mecha Mango is interesting to me. Um, because again, we have Williams, Ma Williams Lackey as Mango. Foxy as depicted there is missing an arm and an eye, which is a consistent thing that William tends to have. Yeah, it's, it's just interesting to me, there's a lot of overlap. And these ones were made by Lady Fizzy, obviously, who is shamed and exiled for the community for obvious reasons. But the lore elements of the art itself, which has been, which would have been run by Scott, is still valid, even if she's not. So just to make that pretty clear. Um, Dino Shot, Quarter Eater. I think it's worthwhile to have a look at these things anyway and see why they were put in the game. Refrigerator running is funny. The Raccoon Raccoon Tour, like, is that an Animal Crossing nod to Tom Nook? I think so. Slappy Van Winkle. Who's the best player at Slappy Van Winkle? Gregory. Uh, picker ver pick butter versus pickles is interesting because the pickle jar is associated with Henry uh, in FNAF 6 because it's his happy thing and obviously the exotic butters are associated with William and his family so this is like the Aftons versus the Emilys which I think is hilarious. There's the Hangry Fredbear rare screen. Not sure why it's Fred Freddy versus Chica, but again, Gregory's at the top of the scoreboard. Um, Ricard Caddy, All Ninjas Attack, Lazy River. Uh, there's these ones, these are the old style flat arcades. Uh, Japanese style, I think, is what these arcades were called back in the day, um, because this was just the style that was popular in Japan. Toy Bonnie, Bon Bon, and Bonnet on this one. Uh, Easter Egg Hunt. Catch that fetch. Obviously, fetch from the novels as well. Pony bites. And we've got this whole reception area, which is cool. Looks nice when it's lit, I'll show you. Look, let's see. See? Nice looking area with nice lighting. There's a lot of really appealing areas in here. Um, you can see these ones have like glitchy screens. But West Arcade is the real like celebration of arcade machines obviously. The reflections and the circles and yeah it's all good. Look at this, like, I love a shiny. And this is shiny and good. Right, um, I'm just a sucker for neon lights, honestly. These ones are all similar, see it? Tantrum, Milk Sour, Cosmic Countdown. And you can see those, like, generic, like, insert coin screens. Those appear on any, any of the non lower cabinets. See, and it can, they can appear on the lower ones as well. Fazbear Entertainment, yeah. Bush Trap Chaser. So that's also from the short stories that we have. Uh, again, high score, GGY. Uh, this one has the Freddy Fazbear high score screen. This is the one that appears on like uh, Lone, Lone Boy's Adventure and stuff. These are cool. See it? Like glass floors where you can see down into the bathrooms. This one's my favourite, Fred Bell's Nom Nom Bits. GGY's the high scorer, but look, it's Bonnie and Freddy, or Fred Bell, depending on who you think it is. There's a lot of Fred Bear eat a thing stuff. Which again ties into all the head stuff, like missing heads and whatever. 
like someone's nightmare. Or dream, I don't know. Um, there's one. Turbo Clown. GGY. Usually there's more of these screens once the lights go out, weirdly. Like I think they reshuffle, but I've actually been pretty lucky this time. And there's quite a lot of them. It's really hard to get a good look at these while you're playing the game because the staff bots get in your way relentlessly because they're everywhere on this floor. This one's funny. Ned Bear, the space soldier. Yeah. Just to show you it properly. Ned Bear from UCN. You can't really get a good look at the side on those ones. Um, discount stuff. Uh, and then we've got these ones, the standard ones. Teo, Teo, House of the Bell 2 again. Um, Dino Shock, Flash Trap Chaser. Karaoke rooms are nice. Settings. It's always been on filming. Sorry about that. Right. Um, I was going to do this, that's what it was. Yeah, just to show the little karaoke rooms. There's a whole bunch. They seem to be kind of like themed roughly around different characters, apart from one. This one is static with red. It reminds me of Old Man Consequences, whether or not that's legit or not. Uh, because static and like FNAF is kind of synonymous with death as well. Um, yep. Uh, green, which I'm assuming is like Monty or Roxy. Got kind of orange. But yeah, there's a few of them. Uh, they make good hiding places because the robots don't go into them um, for whatever reason. I get up here ultimately, but it's easier said than done in this area. Honestly, I do love West Arcade though. Definitely, like as far as places, this is in the running for my favourite. It's just beautifully and lovingly like designed, and it makes sense because the name of the game and its development stages was Quarters, which again Quarters in an arcade machine. Um. There are some down here, they are mostly the same as the ones up top. Uh, there's a high score. It's in Lazy River, but that's a high score screen. Um, Dino Shock. These ones are mostly the same, but there are these machines down here. Um, get a better look. Bon Bon Fun Ball and Ballistic Puppet Show. Ballistic Puppet Show we've seen in the East Arcade. Um, that was the one that was lit pointedly and has the different iterations of the puppet on it. So it has the puppet, the Nightmare on, and then the security puppet from FNAF 6. Bon Bon Fun Ball. Uh, yeah, it's Fun Time Freddy using Bon Bon. Like, yeah. Out of order. Out of order. One day I'm just going to go through and show everybody all of these out of, out of order doors and where they go. Like there are maps um, that people have drawn up based on the topography of like what's left of the map and stuff. But I figure it might be interesting sometimes to just go in and we can just have a look ourselves and see what lies on the other side and if anything loads when we put Gregory there. Like if I put Gregory here now Chances are nothing will load, um, but I'll show you. Yeah, see. But on some of the versions of the game, sometimes things will load. Uh, you just don't know. So this, chances are this is just a scrap area. But, yeah. So, let's see. 
Whoever's, whoever's gonna get him out, they'll leave him. I like Melon. Melon Fallons. I really love that one. I think it's cool. Some great art. There's lots of great art on all of these. Death Stretch. Buff and Tough and stuff. Um, right, so. Yeah, it's as good a place to leave Gregory as anywhere else. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Can't get out. Yeah, I think I was upstairs, so we'll find some way out upstairs. I made the screen small and then big again and it's made the ray trace and all what I like to call heady. Let me see if I can fix it by doing it again. Just don't crash. Nah, it's just gonna be heady. Whatever. I don't know why that happened. This office is interesting. <gasps> Come in. Here, here, here. We can wait to you. I'm like, looks through the horrible head removal machine, like, don't come in. Before proceeding, it, reset the audio manager circuit breaker located there, yeah. next to the dance floor. Gregory, the uh, security system knows right, you are right. here and has locked you out. Reset the breakers and restore power to the West Arcade. Then you can repair the staff bot head. Right. Um, I'm not doing that just now. So we can have a look around in here at least. There's a Bonnie in here. There's a Nightmare on in here. Watching us. Um, there's the security thing, which I don't think I get yet. Um, forklift guide for some reason. These. Um, yeah, the head machine. We'll have a closer look at the head machine when we go to put the head in it. Right. You know what's in the dark? Like the dark. There is a head in there that has glowy eyes. Yeah, I'll see. But yeah, so like I said, this is where we're going to leave it just now. I'll come back next time. For the time being, I'm going to go have a look around at different dark road areas, I guess. Since once it trips this, it holds it in the memory until we're done with this area. Um, let me see, I'll show you like the difference. Like we had to look around outside a minute ago. Um, outside is now different. See? All of these pillars in dark mode, whenever the dark mode flag is on, all turn red. So they all change red. Which is 
interesting. It looked great. Some of them don't, weirdly. These two, these two loners of all the other pillars are like, I'm gonna stay pink for some reason. Someone's just coded them differently, I think. Clash of Clowns gets that interesting. But yeah, once the lights are out, um, let me show you somewhere else in the Pizza Flex just to show you like what I'm talking about, uh, and then we'll leave it. Basically, this flag applies across everywhere. It also applies in daycare, I think, as well. This is the stage, it's usually a good place to like steer by. You could theoretically play the whole game like this pretty easily and you just have to flip that flag. And the first time we flip the flag I'm pretty sure it's in daycare. So this is the second time we do it. But um, ideally you would want to have like unlimited flashlight to do it like this because your flashlight runs out really fast. Definitely spooky, although you feel like you're wandering in the dark a lot more. Let's see what Rockstar looks like. It should be that. I think the original intention was to have light maps, dark maps, for everywhere. I think that was part of the design of the game, but I think it became such a huge, unwieldy thing that they ended up not doing it. It would have been amazing if they had the time to implement it though. It's very Silent Hill where we slip in and out of dark versions and they could have done different things. Night Marion's still not up there. That's weird. Are you lost? Foxy, I'm always lost. That's what Rockstar Roll looks like in the dark. Again, like all of this had to be coded, like if you notice the like these are all out. What one dummy gators out? Like these neon lights all switch off, the name lights. Chicas don't, interestingly. Chica's name lights stay on.
Uh, yeah, I'll probably do a little video just literally wandering around in the dark a bit. Um, I don't know if I'll put it as part of the long play, um, but we'll see, I guess. So I'll catch you in the next video where we will go face up to DJ Music Man.